Hey everyone, let's make uh, our terminal is more beautiful and productive like this. So how can we make this? First go to Chrome, download item 2. So you can see that you download that item 2. I have downloaded the latest version, which is this. Open that, drag to your extract that and drag to your applications folder. Open that. can ignore that for a second and then let's do brew install make sure that your machine has a homebrew installed if it's not then you can go to this link and follow the steps to install it once you have homebrew installed you can do brew install zsh i'll put the all the commands i used on this video will be on the descriptions by step by step so that's you know the, that's the way you know all the commands you downloaded the zsh once you install it okay so here's a problem so when i installed it it's, i installed like some time back so i had to remove that and reinstall it so that's what i'm doing right now okay cool that's done pretty fast now once it's installed successfully, the my ZSH, you have to open that file, the configuration file. You can open it in VI editor, it's completely fine. Then look for plugins. You see that over there? No, one more up. Yeah. Right, let's go. So here you need to add a few more other parameters along with the get. Oh, sorry, I have a blank space there. Let's put, fix that. Okay, so once you added that, save it out, exit. And now you need to, once you exit it, you need to reopen that item once more time. So then open the ZSHRZ one more time and then look for ZSH underscore theme. And then you see it over there. Change that PowerShell to Nuved Argonoscar. You can find that over there. <clears throat> Type that and save it with the colon escape colon WQ. Exit the hole or quit the terminal. Reopen the terminal back. Now you see there is a blue color. Now you have one. The theme is or ZSH is correctly configured and I'm using this thing. Now let's see how can you Yeah, so right before that, let me talk about this too. So you see this all the aliases I have it on the bash profile. None of these things will work right now once you have configured ZSH. So how to make that works is you open that ZSH one more time, look for or find for source. And you see one source which is configured to ZSH. You need to add one more source, entry with tilde sends forward slash dot bash underscore profile, which means that it will load all the configuration from your bash profile too. Do the cut, reopen that again. Now type for my aliases which I was using it. Um, just type blocks, yeah. So you see that the blocks is already. <clears throat> so read it to that particular folder that's cool so now i go to repo which i already have it so you see the master is running it which means that i'm right now on a git branch master now let's edit some file inside that and then you see the color has been changed to yellow which means that there is an untrackable changes on my local machine which is supposed to push to the github repo or what are the repo you've been using it that's what the yellow symbol means. Now, let's save and use a new theme. So you can save it, save that X, that colors one, as with the same file name. It saved as a dot txt ends. I want to rename that to just dot colors. I want to remove the dot extension txt. It has to be dot colors. You see that? I put, keep that as it is. Now go back to terminal, and then preference, go to your profile, 
click on the second tab on that so you see there are like a lot of time options you hear it you may not see those options so what you have to do is like the import click on that you import that then once you go down you select for the exact name on it if you don't see any of all these options which is perfectly fine but whatever the options you imported it you'll see it you see the color has been changed now if you have all these options we can change to see that all the themes in a different way i install all the themes from powershell bk so now you see that it's all changed to different color I, I this is the best color i like it light light blue it's so readable and you can see all the files all the changes so see see that still the same so we got back to the same thing so many people asked this one to me and here you go thanks for watching it